se il primo giorno di controinterrogatorio di Amber Heard vi ha tenuti incollati agli schermi, aspettate di sentire cosa ha avuto da dire l'ex moglie di Johnny Depp alla giuria. Riguardo a delle prove che l'avvocato della controparte le ha messo davanti. Sì perché Amber sembra ferma sulle sue convinzioni e capace di rispondere a tono ad ogni domanda fatta dal legale di Johnny senza battere ciglio e soprattutto non guardandola mai in faccia. Dal recente interrogatorio emergono nuovi audio che evidenziano la morbosità della Hertz nei confronti di Depp. Uno tra i tanti, quello in cui Johnny sta andando ad incontrare la figlia per uscire insieme. E Amber sembra volerlo persuadere a non farlo, ma a passare le prossime ore con lei piuttosto che con la figlia. Uh, you testified that you and Mr. Depp were in the car outside of his studio. Is that right? Yes. And you were trying to prevent him from going into his studio to do drugs, right? Uh, yeah, to effectively start another cycle. Right. Not that Mr. Depp was just trying to go into his house to see his daughter, right? His daughter might be one of the people that was in the house at that time, but that's so neither here nor there. That your testimony is now Mr. from entering a cycle. Your testimony is now that Mr. Depp does drugs in front of his children? Well, first of all, I know he does. Um, second of all, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have stopped him from using with his friends, which was the problem, not whether or not his daughter was there. Okay. Um, let's play, please, defendants 598 at 4948 through 5035. 5035. I'm not. I'm itching. I don't want to be doing this. I want it just to, why don't you just say, okay, baby, I understand. I'll go home and you do your thing, hang out with your daughter, and then I'll see you in a couple hours and we'll talk about it. Is it that difficult to say that? Or you just fucking hate me and you want to be shitty about it? Please. Just fucking, it's not that difficult. Okay? Ma quest'audio è nulla in confronto alle altre prove che vengono analizzate dall'avvocato di Johnny Depp, come ad esempio le foto che la Herd si è scattata in seguito ai presunti abusi che sembrerebbero modificate per apparire con il volto più rosso e tumefatto. Miss Herd, you testified yesterday that this is a photograph taken of you on May 21st, 2016. Do you recall? Yes, that's correct. Keeping this exhibit up We could please do a split screen, Tom, and also pull up Defendant's Exhibit 714, which has already been admitted with redactions. Mr. Heard, you testified yesterday that this is the photograph that was also taken on May 21st, 2016, correct? Yes, although the one to the right might have been taken the next uh, day, I can't be sure. The reason I say that is because there's light in the background, so... It looks like it was taken in the daytime, which means maybe it was the next day. Didn't you testify that you uh, took different lighting, pictures in different lightings that on is, May 21? That is correct, yes. Okay. And, and you're wearing two thin necklaces in this picture on the right, is that correct? That is correct. You testified that these pictures were taken the same night. The one on the right looks like it was taken in the daytime because I can see the daylight behind me. But you testified that they were taken the same day. Uh, I don't know if I, I think I testified that they came from the same incident of the same day, not necessarily taken on the same day. Okay. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 712, which has already been admitted. Uh, you testified yesterday, this is another photograph of you on the night of May 21. That's correct. And keeping this exhibit up, can we please do a split screen and also pull up Defendant 713, which has already been admitted? Ms. Heard, you testified yesterday, this is also a photograph of you from the same night, correct? That is correct. You testified yesterday that the only difference between these two photographs is that the light was turned on. That's what it appears to be, yes. The light is on in both of these pictures, though. Isn't that right? It looks to me like the one on the left has the vanity light, the makeup lights, you know, the more yellow-hued ones that go around the mirror on, and then the one on the right looks like it doesn't have those. Isn't it true you just edited these photographs? No, I've never edited a photograph. Didn't you just enhance the saturation for one of these photos to make your face look more red? 
Uh, no, that's incorrect. I didn't touch it. You were sitting here in this courtroom when Mr. Isaac Baruch testified to see you, seeing you the week after May 21, 2016, correct? I was here. Mr. Baruch testified that he saw you on May 22nd while you were changing the locks of your penthouse. Do you recall that testimony? I do. I just don't know if he was right about the date, but I do remember him saying that. Testified it was his birthday, the day after his birthday. I believe it was. Yeah. Mr. Baruch testified that he saw you repeatedly in the days following also correct? That's correct. And Mr. Baruch testified that he saw no marks or injuries on your face, correct? That is what he's testified to. You were also here in this court when Mr. Sean Bett testified to seeing you on the evening of May 21, 2016. Is that right? Um, you were here. That's correct. Mr. Bett also testified that he saw no marks or injuries on your face that evening, correct? I realize that's what he said. You were sitting here in this courtroom when Officer Melissa Sines testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia building on May 21st, 2016, right? I saw her testimony, yes. And you heard Officer Sines testify that she did not see any injuries on you that night, correct? I heard her testify she did not consider this injured. No. Ms. Officer Sines testified that she met with you and she did not see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct? She did not consider this injury. Ms. Hurd? My question is a bit more nuanced. So is my answer. My question is more nuanced. You sat in this courtroom while Officer Sines testified that she saw you the night of May 21, 2016, face to face, and didn't see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct, Ms. Hurd? I believe she was testifying about these photographs, and she said that I was not injured in them. Is it your testimony under oath now that Officer Sines testified that she saw injuries on you when she saw you in person on May 21? Sorry, let me clarify. I was testifying that I know that that's what Officer Sines said, that she didn't consider my red puffy face injured. That's what she said. The red puffy face, that was your counsel's question, correct? That was she her said, testimony in the UK. That's incorrect, and you know that, Ms. Hurd. I disagree. It's just inconvenient for you that Officer Science didn't see injuries on you on May 21, 2016. Isn't it doesn't matter right? what's convenient for me. Right. Officer Tyler Haddon also testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia building on May 21, 2016, and he also testified no injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that correct? They both said that they did not consider me injured. Secondo voi si tratta di una foto diversa? Sin da un primo sguardo la foto sembrerebbe la stessa, stessa posizione dei capelli e persino stessa posizione delle luci che si riflettono sulla tempia della Herd. Eppure lei sostiene che si tratta di due foto diverse, fatte addirittura in due giorni diversi e che lei non avrebbe modificato nessuna foto. E voi cosa ne pensate?